wake my daughter up and I didn't wake my wife up so that is a good start to the day let's go yes YouTube Wagwan what's going on today is a completely different video I have had so many requests over the years to do this video um, a full day in the life with me Lee Jonah Jones let's go before I get into today's video, it would mean a lot to me guys if you just hit that subscribe button. It's free, it takes one second and we're always looking to grow the Jonah family. Today guys, I'm going to take you through a full day with me and what it's like to be part of Jonah football. Today is a Thursday morning, it's currently 6am in the morning. So I get up roughly around 5.30 a.m. every day. And today, I've picked a great day, guys, to show you because I've got a really, really busy day on the cards. I've got a Zoom session in the morning, followed by a meeting with another Zoom call with all our members. This is the first time I'm doing it, open to all our members. So I'm going to be doing a Zoom call with that. I'm really looking forward to meeting all our members. It's a new year, so I'm going to be having a good chat with them, telling them what type of content we're going to be putting on our members area. And whilst I'm here, I might as well plug it. If you enjoy all of our training videos on our YouTube channel, join our members, guys. Today, I'm doing a Zoom call to all of our members, so it's going to be great to speak to them, give, us, give them some advice. I'm going to be giving them a rundown on the type of content I'm going to be putting out there this year. Something new like this. Ooh, camera almost went. Uh, also, after that, I've got another meeting, another Zoom call with something that could potentially be huge for Jonah Football. I'm not going to give too much away, so at midday I've got another meeting there. But I'm going to be showing you guys around the office, show you what Jules and Shane get up to, which they're coaching this morning. Stick around because tonight, tonight, I've got training with my team, the mighty Rydalmere Lions. So I might do a bit of vlogging there for you guys just to show you our training facility. But we always start with coffee. I'm here with the legends at Laboca. You already know my order every morning, don't you, Jackie boy? That's it. Oi, large soy cappuccino. Guys, if you haven't tried that, make sure you give it a crack. And if you want to come to Laboca, Make sure you hit these guys up. Best coffee in Sydney, you know what I'm saying? Got to start the day with the coffee, guys, otherwise I can't function. Got my coffee. For those that are wondering, I don't have breakfast in the morning. I like to fast till about 12, 1 o'clock. I've been doing that for, a, for quite a long time now. However, if I'm doing like a cheeky coach's training session, make sure you check that out on the channel. 
if I'm doing like a training session in the morning, I'll have like a banana, but I've got so used to fasting. Um, my body's got so used to fasting. I've been doing that for quite a long time now. So just a cheeky coffee in the morning for me and I'll get a, a bottle of water as well. I forgot to say as well, the very first thing that I do when I wake up is I actually check the 45 million messages on my work phone just to make sure that there hasn't been any last minute cancellations for Jules and Shane or myself if I'm coaching or I'm also checking to see if there's any last minute Zoom players that want to do the Zoom session. Uh, that's really important because myself and the boys we plan our sessions. Guys, here's one for the comment section. Sydney has the best coffee in the world. That's a big shout. The coffee here is fantastic. I'm not going to lie to you. We just want to give this a quick mention as well. So yesterday I had to pick up my drone. As you would have seen in the coaching session, Jasper flew the drone into a skills pole. $500 later, got it back. The only reason why I put that in here is because I know Jasper's going to be editing this video. <laughs> Cheers, Jasper. Okay, I love you, mate. Guys, what I'm doing now is I'm just driving to the office, so I shouldn't really be doing this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the camera off. When I get to the office, I'm going to plan my Zoom session. Just go through a few details on my Zoom session. I'll show a little bit of that with you guys. I'm going to give you a tour of the office for the first time as well. Show you our office where the magic happens and then I'm going to start putting you guys through a day in the life of me and the boys at Jonah Football. Let's go, see you at the office. I'm at the office guys. I'm at the office and I've got to get ready for my Zoom. So uh, there goes the camera, put my coffee down. I've got to get ready for the Zoom session, guys. I'm going to get set up. But don't worry, I'm going to give you a tour of this office after the Zoom session, so stick around. Just telling all the Zoom players we're going to be starting in five minutes. Love the Zoom session, guys. So inspirational. Uh, today, I think we've got about 10, I think, on the session, but players from all around the world. So, a little glimpse of this. Might even get a few of them on the, on the vlog as well. Especially Lindo, he's a good character. What's going on, guys? Mate, you are not doing the Zoom in that top. You're banned. Go and get changed, Lindo. Joe, Joe is one of the best coaches in the world for me. Oh, my God, he's giving that one. I was expecting, like, subscribe or something like that. Subscribe. Hey, Lindo, what a top man. Are the notifications on? Yeah, notification bell, Lindo. We've got Libiano Ronaldo. Pino, she's got a video off. Jamesy Boy. Wasim, bottom right. Lindo, Casadino. And I've got a few others trying to get in. Whoa, almost, almost there. Stacked it on my chair. Guys, we're going to start in one minute. I'm just waiting on a few more. Pino, just tell all the YouTube fans where you're doing the Zoom session from. Love that. Look at all your skills equipment in the background as well. Yeah. We'll give them a little plug. All right, guys, let's get ready. Let's get warm then. Let's go. Let's start the session. So don't be afraid to voice your opinion. However, it's going to be a good session today. We've got, we've got about 15 players in the Zoom from all around the world. Love it. Sydney, Melbourne, Camera King, America. So let's smash it, guys. We're going to do a bit of speed and agility. We're going to do a bit of explosive power, full mastery some skills and then a lot of passing and first touch at the end a lot of stuff that we can do in a small space okay One, two, three, bang, set, shift, touch, 
bang, set, shift, touch. So we're going to go through the gaps. We always start the drill off like we were before. Sole, outside, inside. Drag it back, touch, drag. Just one quick thing with that V-snap. We go in the Esther. Make sure that we're selling it, guys. Bang, set, play, sell it. Okay? In the Esther, sell it. You've got to sell that skill. Put in a 10 seconds. 10 seconds to go. Keep your feet Luke Kelly. Let's go, JJ. Get that scanning for you know. Three, two, one. Rise. Kick on, lads and ladies. Guys, come to your screen. Guys, just before we end the Zoom, always remember, especially if you're off school, any sets that you struggled with, you can go back and do extra if you've got that energy. Okay, so if you've got that energy, you can do extra sets, guys, especially with the ones that you struggled with. A lot of the stuff we did today was basic, but repetition, repetition, getting consistent with that, okay? I'm really loving the Zoom sessions. We have quite a few today. Few, few connection problems. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Up to Liverpool. Just finished the Zoom session, guys. I'm sweating, you know, those sessions are tough. Even if I'm just giving demonstrations, I always make sure my demos are at a good, high intensity pace, you know, to inspire them to train hard, work hard. But those Zoom sessions, honestly, I absolutely love doing it. To coach players from all around the world is just amazing. If you wanna get involved, guys, I'll leave a link below for you to join our Zoom sessions every Thursday morning here which I believe is Wednesday afternoon for most people. We're a day ahead here in Australia. Now, I normally get a shower and I normally crack on with some emails and have a look at what I've got to do on my to-do list. But before that, I'm gonna give you guys a tour of our Jonah Football Office. Let me give you a quick tour of the Jonah Football Office. Let's go. All right, starting with this room. Um, as you can see, it's just a huge cluster of old equipment or equipment that we still use, poles, goal shot. We use them for our camps, footballs, bibs, more rubbish. Uh, loads of old football boots. Like I have so many pairs, guys. So many pairs of football boots uh, in it. Ah, more equipment. Let's see what else I've got, more equipment more equipment so i have so much skills gear it's not even funny and what we do as coaches we just like we use this room we just pick and choose what what equipment we want just trying to put that back in the corner we just pick and choose what equipment we want most of it is it is in our vans right guys let me show you the stairway so here these are some of the shirts i need to get them framed properly just haven't had the time but these are some of the shirts that have been given to us when we've coached players or with Nike. Uh, I'll just go through them. This is the latest Australian national team one. Need to give that a bit of an iron. Nike sent that. This one of my favourite ones when we coached uh, Adam LaFondra. Thanks for helping me stay sharp. Love that one. And this one, one of my favourite ones as well, is uh, when we went to California and did some team training. Big shout out to Cameron Lee for this one. What a legend. Some of the boys. Little things like this go a long way with us at Jonah Football. Love it. Uh, this is one of the first jerseys I got off Nike. Went back, obviously, when we were Jonah. Jonah 101. But we're, we're due to get a few shirts from the people on our podcast. I'm actually renovating at the minute. I'm just putting up, like, the fresh logo. So I haven't really got around to that. But here's the money shot, guys. Here's the office. Obviously watching a bit of Premier League at the minute. Don't want to keep that on too long, probably copyright. So over here is Jules' desk. Jules' is desk. Jules loves to scribble and plan his sessions. I don't know if you can see here, but he likes to plan a lot of his sessions. So many, so many in the drawer over there as well. Um, over here we just have like a database of players which massively needs updating, but we we put down a lot of our players on what days they train, but we need to massively update that. We haven't updated that in a while. 
few coaching follows at a boys, Agzi, me there, Charlie Bean, Shane, all the little young Isaac there, love it. For me guys, all the favorite part of the office is definitely the projector screen. Obviously, a bit of, bit of DIY there. Got some Premier League on at the minute. None of us really use that sofa, but when we have guests, so sometimes we have like, sometimes we have like our mates around, so we'll pull the sofa out, watch a bit of Premier League. Some fresh balls here from Mikey. Haven't used them yet. A few rebound boards for our Zoom sessions. Over here is, um, this one here is Shane's desk. This one's sort of like a spare desk, so um, if our editors come round or we have anyone that needs to use a spare desk, there's a screen there. That's obviously our old logo, so I'm just renovating. Uh, coach's goals for 2020. Need to update that, that was last year. Uh, a few hats at the top there. Then I'll probably need to go. <clears throat> Not getting paid for this, but a few plugs. The Tor X pump, guys, is something if you're a coach or a player, you need to have. Big thanks to Tor X. They send us plenty of these, guys. We use these a lot to pump up our footballs. These bad boys, <clears throat> the Blaze pods, something we're going to be using a lot in 2021. Haven't had the time to play around with it yet. Big shout out to Brian Farber for sending that and Blaze pod. You would have seen it in a few of our videos, but I haven't had a, a play around with it just yet. This is my gimbal. This is what our photographers use. I'm not going to get it out. So many people actually, so many people ask me what camera I use. At the minute, I'm using my iPhone 12 because the camera quality on this phone is ridiculous. But in a lot of our videos over the years, I use the Nikon D7 500. Absolutely love this camera. I need to get a new lens for it though, but I do use the Nikon D7 500. Over here, it's a little bit messy guys, but it's my charging station. iPad, anyone that knows, gotta be doing a lot of charging. Drone batteries, phone gimbal, camera batteries, all kinds of crap over here guys. Um, Yearly planner, dartboard, currently unbeaten on the dartboard guys, mm, anyone wants to come down to the office and challenge me on the dartboard, probably won't beat me. Little shoe rack over here, this is my camera bag, uh, or our our videographer uses a lot, lot of stuff in here, loads of, like mics, wires, all that type of stuff. Um, and I also guys, for me, I like to try and keep myself motivated. Um, right now the boys are out coaching, they'll be back soon, so I'll try and catch that when they get back. But I like to keep myself motivated with some quotes around the office. I'll just show you a few, I'll flick through them. Those are some of the quotes, guys, that I just, when I'm floating around the office, I like to look at it. Just gives me a little bit of inspiration to keep going, keep working. Most of the time, I'm on my own or I'm with Julesy. Um, I'll show you the view on the balcony. It's actually amazing. I do a lot of my like calls on air, business calls, conference calls. I come out on the balcony because it's such a beautiful view. Check this out. Little football, little, little football pitch over there. Love the view on the balcony, guys. Like I say, come out here, do a lot of phone calls out on the balcony. Just helps me freshen my mind. And here, guys, this is where, when I've when I've done my coaching on the field, like today, obviously done a Zoom session. The boys are out coaching. But since the business has grown a lot in the last couple of years, I've been I've spent a lot of time on this desk developing stuff. Um, developing the brand, lots of stuff which I can cover a little bit later on in the video, but a lot of video editing, a lot of stuff for our members, emails, phone calls, conference calls, 
lots and lots of different types of stuff which I can cover a bit later on. Always have the YouTube channel up, you know, subscribe button guys, obviously this is the back end for me. But my setup, I absolutely love my setup, I have three screens, which allows me just to work a little bit, uh, a little bit smart, a little bit quicker. I have my goals on there, which I won't show. Um, but yeah, guys, that's my desk and that's where I do a lot of work. A few photos, my nieces, some fresh Nike boots. I've just rubbed off all the, these. this used to be my ideas board. I've rubbed that off because I'm not showing you guys my beautiful little daughter there and my gorgeous wife. Always like to have a few photos, you know, just to keep me motivated. Um, oh, I haven't shown you the podcast room. Let me show you the podcast room. Podcast room is where it's at, guys. The Christmas tree is still up because Jules hasn't put it down yet, and I'm not doing it. And I actually think it looks quite well in the corner there. But this is the podcast room again, guys. Football boots everywhere. Absolutely love the podcast room. If you haven't listened to our podcast, guys, head over to Spotify or iTunes, listen to the to our podcast. This is where I do like a lot of my social media videos as well. So it's got like some boots in the corner, podcast logo. Don't know why I've got a picture of me on the wall there, but that's our Jonah Tech. Follow our Jonah Tech at Jonah Tech page. Um, but yeah, this is our podcast room, guys. We'll just put some surround sound walls in. We've got like our guest list here. But yeah, I love this room, guys. Do a lot of my videos in here for our members. It's soundproof now with the with the stuff going around. We have a screen to like live stream our podcast. We've got a we have got a YouTube podcast page, guys. A YouTube podcast page. Is down in the link. If you want to follow that page, give it a follow. We're going to be putting a lot of our podcast videos on there this year, guys. We have some big guests. And also, we're going to be posting some of the guests that we've already had, like Gail Clichy, to name a few. Um, but yeah, this is the office, guys. This is the office. Flick it round. Still watching the Tottenham game. So yeah, done my Zoom session. Going to get a shower now, guys. Um, probably the next part of my day is, is checking some emails. Um, Got to sort out my day for tomorrow. Getting ready for. I have another call. I have a call at nine o'clock, so I've got to get. I've got to get a quick shower. So I've got a, an important call at nine o'clock with all my members. So do you want to just before you get a shower, Brad? Because now you got to head off. Mm-hmm. What did your day normally look like? Quite mixed in it, really, at John Football. Yeah, it depends on the day. You go coaching, you get a nice little John Roffey. Yeah, definitely. Coffee. Get a coffee, come, come back. Come back. And then what do you do? You might like develop your skills, skills program. Yeah, yeah. Well, obviously, like depends how long we're on the field, but you should get about get back about 10, 10, 11, and then get a shower. You're gonna get the shower, be clean. Yeah, um, and then just get a bit of work in the office. Like the minor, we're focusing a lot on the. Uh, a little program, the skills program that me and Shane are, are trying to grow, which is for like grassroots players from seven to, to 10, 11 years old. I'll leave the link down below if they want to sign up to that. V true. V true, V true. Um, so yeah, it's just- We've like, got a lot of camps going on at the minute as well. Yeah, actually. and obviously like, we've got a camp, two day camp tomorrow for a club, and then we've got our own camp next week. So, you know, it's up and, up and down, but at the moment we're very busy. Start of the year, a lot of things happening, preparing for what's, what's coming, so yeah. It's my desk, bro. What do you mean? It's my desk. I came home yesterday. And this guy had set up here. This was over there, bro. Don't touch that, bro. Ah. It's connected. Oh, Fulham have scored. Oh, Jesus. This is where I sit, bro. I was saying that you like to do a lot of session planning on here, Jules. Yeah, I actually do. I do. Boy, I'm planning on vlogging the boys tonight at Rival Me as well. <laughs> Might get Westy on the Westy. channel, you know? What's your record? Westy will be. Oh, good. Okay. Get Jamie, Jamie Craig. We'll get Jamie Craig, the fans' favourite, you know what I mean? The winner. The winner, you know. Fulham has scored, you know. I can't show it because it'll get copyright. Ooh. But yes, guys, Jules has just got in. Jules just give you a little insight into what he does there. But to be honest, there's no like set structure at Jonah Football. It all depends what time of the year, what we've got going on. Like we've got a lot of camps going on. Like we have a lot of information, new inquiries. We've got a Rivermere camp coming up. We've got a Jonah camp coming up. So. It all depends what we're working on at the time. Shane, know me downstairs watching the basketball. 
Uh, I'm only joking. Shane does a lot of work. Shane's still out coaching. Yeah, he's gonna be tight. Shane's tight. Shane's top grafter. You know, he's a he's he he's look, a field man. He he's a field man. Field. He's a guy on the field. You know, he he took four hours to do a flyer the other day. So we'll keep That's his <laughs> we'll keep his expertise on the field. <laughs> But yeah, guys, that's it. I'm going to get a shower because I've got another Zoom call. I've just vi finished my Zoom call with all our members on YouTube. Great discussion with loads of players and coaches. Um, to be honest, guys, I haven't stopped all morning since I woke up haven't stopped. I didn't even have time to get a shower because I was too busy chatting with Jules and showing you guys the office. So I'm definitely going to get a shower now. So yeah, guys, I haven't stopped for a second. So what I'm going to do now, might order another coffee, get a shower, and then I'm going to be looking at emails and I'm going to look at doing some video editing. Pretty much, guys, it's full on. I don't stop. Big part of my day, as I do so many stories as well. Getting information out there, training inquiries, videos, whatever. I do a lot of that during the day. Tuckby! Hey! I'm vlogging, bruh! What's going on, YouTube? How was your day, Shane? I've already done jokes. Pretty good, yeah? Busy morning. Was it hot? Because it looks hot. Yeah, was the last session was hot. Yeah. Right, yeah? My first question that I always ask Shane, guys, is did everyone turn up? Yeah, everyone's there, yeah? Yeah, fantastic. Great answer. Yeah. How was it, Shaz? All right? Good, yeah. First session, I had um, three girls, three really good girls. Yeah. Second session, two young boys. And then third session, I had two, lad, two, boy, two young boys and then... Uh, a new girl starting out with a cross session. Love that chat. Shane, what, um, so so the fans might want to know, what does a day look like for you, you know what I mean? At John Football, so you, you're, we, me and Jules, like, we, we banted you off before, but you're more of a guy on the pitch, you know what I mean, Shane? I'd say that's what you do, man. You, usually, yeah, like, I usually pretty much get up, um, set me down for like 4.45, and then oh, really? try and get up, get some breakfast, get on the pitch, and then usually this is the time I get back, so it's about 11.30 now. Yeah. And then you chill for a bit because it's quite it's quite hard, isn't it? In, in Australia, being boiling. Yeah, yeah. And then come you look back a bit here, red, Shane. You know what I mean? Come back with someone. Come back and then yeah, where if there needs to be anything done around here, I'll do a bit. If not, I'll watch a bit of basketball or go play golf. Please. Love it, Shaz. It. So, so most of the time, if Shane's not watching basketball or playing golf or coaching. He will be working probably on the podcast during the week when our podcasts are booming. So you'll be yeah. editing podcasts, uploading podcasts, speaking to guests, or he'll be working with Jules on the Skills Clinic program like Jules mentioned. Yeah. Um, but you're more of a person that focuses a lot on sessions, session planning, all that type of stuff. Any chance? Yeah, I do. It's mostly work on the pitch. You know what I mean? Not much gets done on the Shane you know, or desk, <laughs> you know what I mean? Why is the dumb stuff? Right. Um, yeah, guys, Uncle Shane's here. I'm still doing loads of work. I've got another meeting at 12. Um, but Shane, I'm going to take the camera to buy with me. I might get like Westy on his game play yeah, and all that, that type of stuff. Um, but yeah, like I think like myself, Jules and Shane, we all have like different roles, responsibilities. And like I said before, it all depends what time of the year it is. So we've got a couple of camps coming up with me, Shane. Yeah. We've got Ryder May camp tomorrow and Saturday. And then we've got a Jonah camp the following week. So today, myself, and Shane and Jules are gonna have a quick meeting about what we want to do. Just finalise the details on that. Which Shane, me and you might have to do it now because uh, Catalina phoned me and said that I might need to go home. Right. So me and you might have to do it, and you just fill Jules in. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we've got a plan for our camp, but yeah, we're quite busy at the minute. I've picked a really busy day to do some vlogging. To be fair, because I'm, I'm I'm busy. And Shane, I'm undefeated on the dart board. Oh, you're fair. You're good at that. Yeah, well, I'll play them. We haven't played a game in a while. So. I'll play them. Uh, just look, and I need a haircut, guys. Look at the state of my band. <laughs> right, 
My head's a bit fried. I need some food. Pick a great day to pick in the day in the life because I'm so busy today. Just had a phone call from the wife. She wants me to, to go back home and help with the little one. So play dad. Gotta be a dad as well, you know, guys. So I just want to say that last meeting was massive and I am so, so excited uh, to what is what is to come, guys. Don't want to give it away, but that was a really good, positive meeting. Something very big is coming at Jonah Football that I'm going to have to work on over the next couple of weeks. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that. What a great meeting. However, I need some food. I might go downstairs, have a little chat with Shano um, and get ready to maybe set off home to help with my daughter. And then I've got training tonight, so stick around. Uh, I'm just packing all the camera equipment ready for our um, soccer camp tomorrow, football camp, elite camp, whatever you want to call it, with Ryder Mate. Myself and Shane have just planned what we're doing. Jules isn't here, but we can fill him in a little bit later on. Um, I'll also see him in training tonight. But I'm just getting all the camera equipment ready for my videographer tomorrow so we can get a lot of it on film. There's, there's so many things that I have to remember. So it's not only planning the sessions, but I've got to try my best to remember everything, especially when it comes to camps. There's so much that I've got to remember. So I'm just finalizing that, I'm tidying up my desk, and I'm heading out to spend some time with my daughter. Day in the life of a coach's van. <laughs> Stay at that, Shane. That's, that's you standard after a few big hours. What do you mean? It is, isn't it? Yeah, it's like... Throw living in there. Do you know when you've had a big day? I haven't even put the cones in, look. The cones are everywhere. Like, don't you've had the big morning chain and you need to just get home. Last thing you want to do is pack up. Yeah, packing up, setting up. He's the worst thing, Shane, huh? Need a bigger van as well. Just quietly, how hot is it as well? So it's currently 3 p.m. here in Sydney. It's 35 degrees and it's absolutely boiling. I'm on my way home to um, see my family. Normally, I'd be in the office to, like, 5, 5.30, however on a Thursday I have training for the Mighty Lions, so I like to come home, spend a little bit of time with my family and just help help my wife out a little bit with the, with, with my daughter and then I'll head, I'm back out for training, so pretty full on guys, um, today I've literally not stopped, uh, I've been doing invoices i've been had meetings i oh, had a great meeting today guys such a good productive day today some days like some days it can be really stressful running your own business you know dealing with jules and shane they can be a headache only messing lads you know i love you um some days you can just have bad days and today is definitely a great day i'm looking forward to what is to come with jonah football like i said i'm not going to mention who i had the meeting with all that is to come had a fantastic Zoom call with all my members. I uh, really appreciate all our members at Jonah Football. We were just talking about how we can improve the content, what they enjoy. They had a couple of good ideas. Um, yeah, but just sharing knowledge really with some of the coaches in our members area, some of the players, it was amazing. Um, but I can't wait for you to see the Mighty Lions. Getting, I'm getting on a bit now, guys. Like it's getting harder and harder every year to do what I'm doing like coach and then go and train and I'm back I'm back up at 5am 6am tomorrow running running a camp with the with the Rydalmere football club as well so it's just it's pretty full on it's quite hard to switch off sometimes but I'm going to really enjoy this time now just go home switch off from work for a little bit and then get back into it Mia's currently sleeping obviously I've been vlogging my day I'm here with my wife Hi guys. <laughs> and funny enough, I'm actually doing some work still. What do you normally say, Carol? Never go at me for bringing work home? Yep. Never stop. Never stop? But me is asleep. So maybe chill or no? Nah. Um, so guys, I'm just chilling. Me is asleep and then um, I'm going to be heading off to training. But I'm going to be talking to my wife just about the day I've had. So I normally always chat with you about some business stuff, don't I, Carol? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. She's like the sensible one, and I'm like... The 
word you're looking for is the brains behind everything. No, she's not the brains. She's she's the one like Lee. Don't do that, Lee. That's okay to do. You the know? brains. That's what you call it. You just crack on with your Woolies order, right? <laughs> so I'm on my way to the Lions training with the boys. I'm gonna see what the some of the boys when I put the camera in their face are gonna lose it. Um. I don't normally do this, but I'm actually leaving pretty early today. I'm leaving at 5.30. Training starts at 7. Um, I want to try and get there in about 45 minutes early today because I actually i am feeling pretty sore from a game that we did on Tuesday, so I feel like I need to spend a bit of time in the gym just working on my body a little bit, which Jules and Shane, if they're watching this, they'll laugh because I don't spend any time looking after my body as well as I should. And that's pretty bad guys, make sure you don't copy me, but my philosophy is if I get any spare time, I always like to put it back towards a business and I always like to spend my time and my hours developing the Jonah football brand. However, I've started to realise now that I need to start looking after my body a lot more, stretching, warm downs, uh, activation, like maybe doing a lot of recovery. I one thing I really like about Rydal, Rydal made is they have the ice baths there. I'm going to give you a little tour of the uh, training facilities. Now, for me guys, it's definitely one of the best setups for the level that I play. I'm not playing at the highest level here in Australia due to the fact that um, my body just can't take it anymore. So I'm loving, I'm absolutely loving it at Rydal made. What a club, unbelievable club, unbelievable set of lads. So when I get to the training ground guys, I'll give you a little tour. It's by far one of the best setups in MPL3 in the level that I'm playing at. And I'm gonna go through like a little activation. Hopefully we can see Neil Dunkley, the legend Neil Dunkley. Uh, if you haven't heard his podcast, make sure you head over to our podcast guys. He's, how, he's our strength and conditioning coach. He knows his stuff guys. I might get him just to do a little activation. Uh, warm up routine for me which is going to help me feel a little bit better I've got a bit of lower back pain, don't know why um, Jules will be there, maybe we'll see Jules again Well, I've actually really enjoyed doing this vlog so the last part of my day heading to the Lions, doing a training session who knows, I might even get a little bit of snippet of some of the training um, depends if the, if, if the gaffer lets me don't really want to be that guy I'm not normally that guy like oh let me record the session but because it's a one-off, I might do it. So I'll see you at the training ground. It just took me an hour and 15 minutes to get here. Traffic. It's put me in a bad mood, but it's all right, I'm here. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Haven't seen the vlog in a while. Mark, you want to be on the YouTube channel? Yeah. I've been vlogging my day. <laughs> nice. This is the legend Mark, guys. guys. The main man around here. And this is the big spoof for Jules. What are you having, Jules? It's giving a free um, training snack. Yeah, well, oh, have you had a fresh trip? Yeah, yesterday. Oh my God, lovely that. What we got going on here? Benjamin Mendy. Yes, sir. Don't you video me. <laughs> this is going on the YouTube, you know what I mean? Here he is. Assistant skipper, he's gonna be fuming at him doing this. I'm vlogging my day. I'm, vlo I'm vlogging my day, bro, because the fan that's what the fans want. And there's the main Yeah, I know. What's the matter with you, Al? Tell the fans what's up with you. Set quads on him, you know. <laughs> Guys, let me continue. Yeah, but I mean he's got a set of quads on him. But you're dead right, it is his hunting's. Let me continue with the tour. Right. Here's the first team change rooms. Let's go in. Decent setup, you know. Some stats. Where's my name here? Don't know. Oh, I'm vlogging for YouTube. Ricky's reviewing. Yeah, I've got the top <laughs> Anything to say for the fans, Rick? Um, Find North Bridge Asians. <laughs> right now, plug yourself. There he is there, look, Ricky Woodwood, captain. Now Rick, what it is, right? Everyone has been asking me to do a day in the life of Lee Jones. Oh, no one asked me. No, no. Oh, no one asked me. Apparently I've got special terms, you know what I mean? No one wants to do what you're doing. 
look at that haircut in the background, man. No, nah, nah, people want to see jewels, day in the life of jewels. Have a look what's in my locker. Right? You could put your heart on Snapchat. Like 10 seconds, like. Nothing in there. Cheeky recovery room, you know? Don't know where the light is. Light there, no? Light here. Anyway, guys, the ice baths at the end of the training. I'm ready. Hey! I did say to the fans that they were going to see Neil Dunkley today. Right, right. Oi Neil, I've been doing a day in the life of John the football. Oh, right. Right yeah. away from this morning. I'm kicking the busiest day as well because I don't stop. Yeah. Guys, this is Neil Dunkley. Some of you might have known him from the podcast. What are you doing right now, Neil? Tell us what you're doing right now. So I've got Jules's um, and a couple of other boys' protect group. Um, Prote am, am I in the protect group? Absolutely. So why, why is that? <laughs> uh, a little bit of an older body, so we're going to protect you. <laughs> Boy, I come here early to get some activation. Absolutely. Anyway. So we're going to do a protect group, and then we've got activation, then we're going to roll out into training. So Jules is now starting, so you can jump in, and I'll be over there when, when you're Roll ready. that. Okay, just one, get... one for your followers as well. Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> Splinters down. Oi. Well, okay, I'm on the bench, look. <laughs> Go and put me on the bench Tuesday. Anyway, guys, Neil, just one last question. Yep. Probably don't get this in MPL3 anywhere else, anywhere else, do you? Nah, nah, you wouldn't be able to get this anywhere else. Someone like Neil Dunkley, we've got the GPS. Do you know what I mean? I'm giving the fans what they want, Neil. Yeah, yeah, and they were, all, they were all asking for Neil Dunkley. I'm going to go and show them the gym. So, you guys, when you get to my age, and these are you need your well, pre-heavy. You're only like 27, bro. I wish, bro. How old are you? 28? What? 29? Yeah. I'm 30 in six months. Holy smokes. I can't believe it's look, still look young. Boy, I need to get in here. So guys, I'm going to actually jump in. This is the uh, activation room slash whatever you want to call it, activation. Cheeky little uh, cheeky little pool table over there, which I rate. But it's a good club at Jules. For the le I was saying on the car and the way here for the level that we play. Yeah, which is like the way we get looked after and that. It's really good, isn't it? Yeah, don't tell them how much we make. Yeah. Well, Ricky just showed us the starting eleven on, on Tuesday, me and you on the bench. Saving us for the season, it's amazing. Right guys, I'm gonna go and get ready for some activation thing. Just give the fans what they want. Hey lads, how are we? Mighty West, 99. Super, super. Westy. One, one appearance, one goal, mate. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Winners and greeters. <laughs> I'm vlogging me day and the fans want Jamie Craig. 200,000 views. That's it. No, no. Lines, Anything you want to say? The I, I forgot my medals tonight, but there's three of them at home. <laughs> 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 Boy, I missed it. Fire and pass it, man. Burpees for. Oh yeah, I was at four man. Stress, stress. I'll score a guarantee three in here. Guarantee. Yes! Yeah! Oh, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm on charge. Let's go. Yeah, I'm going to win you. Yeah! That is a day in the life with me and a little bit of Jules and Shane. Obviously, Jules was training tonight, so me and him are going to be up at 6 a.m. tomorrow, ready to go for a big camp. So I've got to make sure I get home, get my sleep. Um, but I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Let me know what you think. And if you enjoy these videos, I might do a few more. They're very hard, obviously, because I'm having to record all the time and try and work. But if you enjoy these videos, let me know in the comments section if you'd like to see more. And if you got this far, 
really appreciate if you hit that subscribe button. It's free and it takes one second, guys. And if you want an even more of an insight into journal football, we post a lot more stuff like this on our members area. That's me, guys. We're journal football. Over and out. We'll see you on the next video. Peace.